Hey guys, Matt from Just Autos. We are talking about EasyTune today, what it is and how it helps Just Autos on a daily basis. What is EasyTune? EasyTune is the most comprehensive software on the market that allows you to tune, write, read, and data log your ECU in your Toyota. This is 79 series, it's the GDJ, and this is the perfect car to show examples of what we do. Because we wholly and solely only do Toyota, we have made this to suit these cars to the T. It is not a generic, it is just literally based around Toyota. You can download an application, and the application that runs on your PC, it is also suitable for an iPhone and Android. The application can load files into your car, read files, data logging, and there's a whole lot of range of things that it can do there. We're gonna start off right here with the dashboard. And as you can see, this is a dashboard that we would see. We've got, you know, connect to vehicle, my tunes, my device. This is like a portal that you would have as a customer, as a distributor or ourselves. Just Autos has our own account that we are using on a daily basis. And this looks at all the cars that we flash. It records all the VIN numbers, all the data from the car, the original files that are in there and all the information. So it's all basically stored on that cloud. And we have that information we can pull from from whatever we need. It also records all the tune files that we put into that car and everything in an automized uh, list. Organization is key to making sure things run smoothly. So as you can see here, this is our own flashing screen. We're able to flash this vehicle through this particular screen. Flashing into an ECU is we're taking part of the software, we're modifying because we have our own custom firmware and then we're loading it back in. In this particular car, in this Gen 3 ECU, you will find it's probably going to take with a generic software that's available on the market, around about 10 minutes to read and just under that to write the ECU. Now, anytime we write the ECU, you're at huge risk of having problems if you have power outages and you can have things which called you know bricking which is where your ECU fails so we designed that to develop ECUs fast we needed to increase our speed of writing because it's such a long process between changes so we developed this this is our fast flasher as you can see there it's flashing extremely fast I mean we're nearly done now and that is done so that car there is 100% flash, and we've loaded the whole file in. So that's just one of the unique things that we have with our fast flasher. This car itself is the new series Gen 3 ECU that's in this because it's a, the GDJ uh, four cylinder version. As far as all the other models of car, this is suitable for the 300 series, the 79 series, the Hiluxes, the Fortunas, the Parados, everything. Everything that's basically from 2012 onwards, it pretty much covers in that area. It even does the Tundra as well, which is the new petrol variant. Data logger. The data logger is my most favorite part. Data is king. Understanding data is crucial to tuning your car. There's a lot of companies out there putting out modules and a lot of the modules you can put out, you can basically load in five different tunes from a handheld device into your car. So you need to ask the question, if you're not putting the car on a dyno or you're not data logging, it is impossible with no matter how much experience you have to know whether the tune is going to be right for your car. And the worst thing here is at your expense, not theirs. I've been doing this a very, very long time, and even cars that are brand new that come in, we're still having to alter and make the tune suit. Now, I'm not saying you need a dyno to do this because that's not the case, but you definitely do need a data log from that car to ensure the reliability and that the tune is working correctly. And a lot of the time, they're just not, and they're just hoping that it will be okay. That is the big risk that you guys are taking. Toyota have their own data logger. The data logger that Toyota have in a tech stream is logging around about five hertz, right? And that's about five points per second, which is extremely bad for tuning because we're running so fine tolerances with everything, we need to know exactly where we're deviating and where we can adjust to suit, you know, duty tables and fueling tables and a whole lot of range of different things. We knew we needed to increase the speed, so we made our data logger running around about 60 hertz, which is around 12 times faster than factory. And what this gives us is amazing resolution of what goes on in the ECU. I'm just gonna start this car up. We're just gonna do a quick record. I'll just give it a little rev to get some data up. All I've done is taken a real small snapshot of the data out of that car so we can see what's going on. First screen is what we call the inspector. The inspector was designed for guys at home or workshops that understand enough but don't really know what they're looking at when they're looking at a data logger. The problem is with the data logger, there's a lot of lines, there's a lot of things and you don't really know where it's supposed to be. If you don't know the basics, it's really hard to diagnose. And as you can see, if everything is in range, it's basically done in a warning situation and you can see we've got its success warning 
running in error. And what that means is that if you have a car that is deviating rail pressure or it's not meeting boost targets or something simple like that, it'll come up as an error and says, hey, this is the problem. You don't need to look at the log. We've already showed you case that in a block saying, hey, this is warning, this is red, this is something that you guys need to look at. You can click on that, it'll go to a link and it will show you what we recommend and what we see with this particular problem. So this is done for you guys to make it easier to diagnose these cars. So you don't need to be a mechanic, you don't need to be a tuner. This software is designed to help you understand where the problem is with your car. If you have a data log, you can input the data log and that will give you the information. No one else has that, that is what's key. As we go into the charts, you can see here, I've got a charts and I'm gonna go into what we can actually show. And on here, we have just on this particular car, these are what we call PIDs. So they're outputs of the ECU that we are continually looking at and adding to. And these are all where our feeling and our boost and everything is coming from. And we can set this up on different charts to showcase what's going on. We have the ability to change the resolution on all of it. I'm just quickly setting this up. So we've got a bit of an understanding of a few things on here. So we can see what goes on. So as you can see, there's lots of lines on the chart and it gets really confusing looking over them. So you have the ability to change around however you like and look at just a certain system, say for boost control or fuel pressure or fueling or any of these things. One of the things that is really good for us here is we've never had access to the PID control in the ECU. And what that means, we know how to control it, but we never get feedback to know exactly where it is. And if you think of what the PID control in the ECU is, think of it as like it's its brain, the fuzzy logic of the ECU. It's the learning part. It's the part that does the adjustability for when there is problems. So understanding that was key. We got that information from the ECU. We now output it to a certain PIDs. I know that's confusing because it's two different PIDs we're talking about here, but output the data into our data logger. And now we can see our proportional, integral and derivative all set up so we can see what's going on with the control system to ensure we get our duty tables correct. Having this information is, is gold for us for making sure that we get tunes spot on for you guys. This is so very important. I can't stress it enough. The data logs are so very important and I love looking at them. We look at these every single day and it is very, very important to do so. All right, moving on from the data logger, we know how good the data logger really is. We have things like OBD functions. OBD functions is all the learning values you would do in an ECU with say a text stream where you've got such control valve relearn and pilot control relearns and all that. And we have that built into that. It's just an easier way to do these tests and do these learn settings in them. So that's what we built that in there for. That is a uh, whole and soul how EasyTune helps us. As far as what you don't see, what EasyTune does, we have a lot of things that it helps us with. The design around our multi-mapping with our cruise control stalk is all come from EasyTune. We've been working on this whole system together for three and a half years. We started off with a very simple system that was in a K-line switch and the earlier 79 series we've moved into the CAN bus systems with you know using an external controller as well as now in cruise control. We have the option for both. We have that in all the ranges of our Gen 3 and Gen 4 ECUs as well. We are about to release version three in our multi-mapping. That's coming very soon, that's exciting. And I'll tell you a couple little things that we're adding to the next version. We're adding a whole lot more protection. So we have full closed loop EGT protection in that. We also have closed loop protection on every sensor in your car. So we can set limits to ensure that you don't have any problems whatsoever. So it's just giving you the added security when you're traveling Australia that we've got everything covered here. The next thing is our boost control. We have our own custom boost control that we're now inputting into this computer and it's running off that and it is a lot faster and more efficient than the factory system. When we're tuning cars, we're tuning them to a higher level of power. So we need our controls to be on point and faster and well-developed. The factory systems just don't handle it as well as what our system does. And that is the reason we've made that move. The next thing will be is we have closed loop fuel control, something that's never been done on a Toyota diesel before. Um, they have a wideband sensor that is in series for a lot of the DPF models and they use this temporarily for when the car does regen. So we can use that sensor uh, while we're tuning to do full closed loop control. Um, we can even leave that sensor on to give us an understanding of uh, trimming our fuel within 10% everywhere around the red range if we would like. So there's that possibility as well, which is really cool. That's also coming up. And we also have some stuff coming for the 300 series in transmissions that are really, really cool as well. So stay tuned for that one. 
I can't stress enough, this is what we do. We love Toyota. It is our passion. It is not just me, it is the team. It is the team I have here. It is EasyTune, it's all of us together that is allowing us to have these products come forward to you guys and making sure that they are spot on. We always wanna put our best foot forward. We wanna make sure we can give you 110% and that is what I believe and the reason why we are leading the pack and what we are doing. Any more information on EasyTune, anything that I've spoken about today, please get in contact. I'll be more than happy to answer any questions. Thanks guys.